Hello, I'm Rachel with Adventurous Heart, and this is Moenzi, and she is a first-time mom. Well, it didn't go very well. Today, I have some sad news to share with you. Miss Moenzi had two baby porcupines called Porcu Pets, and unfortunately, they were dead upon birth. I would later find out when I talked to other porcupine owners that uh, sometimes when you have a porcupine that is a first-time mom, the babies do die and that I believe is what happened in this particular situation. So what you are about to see are uh, two porcupines that died during birth. If it's something you don't want to watch, please turn it off. Come back later for, uh, uh, come back later for some fun videos of the porcupines. But I decided this channel focuses on helping you learn about porcupines. And this experience, I did learn a bit from, and I thought if I learned something from it, you can all learn something from it as well. So I did want to share it with you. And I also believe that this channel focuses on uh, following the adventure in your heart. And porcupines are one of the adventures in my heart. And I believe in you should always have honesty and true authenticity. So I didn't want to hide any of this from you. I wanted to share it with you um, and allow you to participate in the process of life with the porcupines. So just like every night, I came down to feed the porcupines and Wednesday was at the door, Kibo was there, they ran on out, I gave them their food, I started to clean up, I was right here and I looked up and I go, oh, how the heck did they kill something in their pen? Is that a possum or what? And then as I walked over, it dawned on me, holy crap. <laughs> They're babies. They're porcupine babies. They're porcu pets. <laughs> and I was devastated for a second. I came over and was like, oh my god, Lindsay had a baby. Oh shoot, she had two babies. And unfortunately, they're cold. They are definitely dead. Uh, so Lindsay had her first babies and it clearly did not go very well. Uh, she did not have them this morning. They weren't in here this morning. And sometime during the day, she had babies and both of them died. So I don't know if they died when they were born or if something happened. This is kind of how I found them. So completely sad, completely bummer. I always, you're not even gonna mind them, are you? You just want food. It's okay, it's okay. Hi, honey, hi. I know, that's your babies. You don't know what to do. You're a first time mommy, huh? You're not so sure. Uh, so, when I first got porcupines, someone told me that when you have pet porcupines, there's a possibility that you won't even know they're pregnant because they have all of the quills. And I thought that was ludicrous. <laughs> and I thought maybe Wednesday could, she was getting a little fatter and a little heavier, uh, but I wasn't really, I mean, I knew it could happen, but I didn't expect her to have two babies tonight. So that is a huge bummer. Uh, but now that I'm thinking about it, I did notice porcupines actually have Oh, you can take care of them all wins. You're learning how to be a mommy. You're learning, sweetie. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, but porcupines have their two teats up front. And now, gosh, now I'm thinking about it. I did notice that Wednesdays were getting a little bit bigger. Uh, oh, you did say that. Yeah, about a week ago. A week yeah. Or two ago. So that's a sign I should have known that she was pregnant and was having babies. So they have two, they're on the side. That's how they eat. Uh, I don't think there's much I could have done, maybe. I don't know, but I'm so sad. Lindsay, you're, your babies. Yeah, you hear it here, maybe right in a minute. I'm so sorry, Lindsay. Here, let's look at your babes. So this is a baby porcupine, unfortunately dead. But you can see they have very long quills. I know, that's your baby. No, it didn't go so well this time, did it? It didn't. <sighs> Next time wins. 
but you can see they have really long, cute uh, whiskers. They have itty bitty teeth. Their paws, you can see they have their five paws. Uh, five in the back, four in the front. They're super soft when they're born. Uh, and so it was like the umbilical cord right there. And the interesting thing, I know it's dead, which sucks, is when porcupines are born, these are all soft quills. So you can see when I fill them, um, they're, they're not sharp really at all. They come out and porcupines are soft. And then within a couple of hours, they actually get, uh, they actually get nice and hard, just like a porcupine. So if you zoom in close again, you can see the skin of a baby porcupine. The quills are starting to grow in. It has the rattle quills in the back. So when they're born, they look just like full, full born porcupines. This one's a little smaller. This one is a little bigger. This one still has a lot of slime still on it. So. I think it is probably the last few hours. I don't know about that, but maybe. Within the last 12. Yeah, well they're definitely dead. <sighs> So, yeah, this one still has a lot of slime. She doesn't look like she cleaned it up too much. It still has like slime all over it. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it is dead as well. They're so cute. You can see, look, it even has a little teat right there, two of them. So again, porcupine's teats are on the side. Um, so you can just see all the features of these precious little guys, but uh, <sighs> did not go so well. So we'll clean it up and uh, talk to Lindsay. Rest in peace, little dudes.